Do Vagrios, the solitary, ask us, Do you desire then to embrace this life of solitude and to seek out the blessings of stillness? If so, abandon the cares of the world and the principalities and powers that lie behind them. Free yourself from attachment to material things, from domination by passions and desires, so that as a stranger to all this you may attain true stillness. For only by raising himself above these things can a man achieve the life of stillness. Keep to a sparse and plain diet, not seeking a variety of tempting dishes. Should the thought come to you of getting extravagant foods in order to give hospitality, dismiss it. Do not be deceived by it, for in it the enemy lies in ambush, waiting to tear you away from stillness. Remember how the Lord rebukes Martha, the soul that is over busy with such things, when he says, You are anxious and troubled about many things. One thing alone is needful. Luke chapter 10 verse 41 to 42 to hear the divine word after that one should be content with anything that comes to hand he indicates all this by adding mary has chosen what is best and it cannot be taken away from her luke chapter 10 verse 42 you also have the example of how the widow of zarephath, zarephath gave hospitality to the prophet first kings chapter 17 verse 9 to 16 if you have only bread, salt, or water, you can still meet the due of hospitality, even if you do not have these, but make the stranger welcome and say something helpful. You will not be pulling, you know, you will not be failing in hospitality, for is not a word better than a good a gift? Ecclesiastic, Ecclesiasticus chapter 18 verse 17. This is the view you should take of hospitality. Be careful then, and do not desire wealth for giving to the poor, for this is another trick of the evil one, who often arouses self-esteem and fills your intellect with worry and restlessness. Take the widow mentioned in the gospel by our Lord. With two mites she surpassed the generous gifts of the wealthy, for he says they cast into the treasury out of their abundance, but she cast in all her livelihood. Mark chapter 12 verse 44. With regard to clothes, be content with what is sufficient for the needs of the body. Cast your burden upon the Lord. Psalm 55, verse 22, and he will provide for you since he cares for you. 1 Peter, chapter 5, verse 7. If you need food or clothes, do not be ashamed to accept what others offer you. To be ashamed to accept is a kind of pride, but if you have more than you require, give to those in need. It is in this way that God wishes his children to manage their affairs. That is why, writing to the Corinthians, the apostles said about those who were in want, Your abundance should supply their want, so that their abundance might likewise may supply your want. Then there will be quality, as it is written, He that gathered much had nothing over, and he that gathered little had no lack. Second Corinthians chapter 8 verse 14 to 15 exodus chapter 16 verse 18 so if you have all you need for the moment do not be anxious about the future whether it is one day ahead or a week in mo or months for when tomorrow comes it will supply what you need if you seek above all else the kingdom of heaven and the righteousness of god for the lord says seek the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things as well will be given to you matthew Chapter 6, verse 33.